Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this spread I'm going to explain you the meanings of the cards or I'm going to try to explain you the card as best as I can I also I'm going to make the synergy in between the positions but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation <clears throat> now if you want me to do that for you into a um, you know a reading that is personalized personalized for you then uh, this is a subject of a personal reading and for a personal reading please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, one more thing if you find these reports helpful and you want to know more about your star sign specifically career and relationship wise there will be an a, uh, extended monthly tarot reading for um, months of October in which we are going to do two spreads uh, one for career and one for relationship regarding the star sign so what we do have here is a, a five card spread now the first card will be about the situation in the month or the topic the theme of the month the second card is what you should focus on or rather like intentional wise it is the second card the third card that will be the obstacles which are causing predicaments to the star sign of Capricorn then we do have the fourth card which is the uh, resources that you can rely on or that card could be interpreted as well as what helps you throughout the month and the last card will be about the final outcome or how the month is going to end you know or what will be the result of all that <clears throat> so let's see what you got here for that month Capricorns we do have the chariot card and in the grand scheme of things or like as a, a general interpretation the, the, the chariot card could be interpreted as a triumph now triumph over what however in many cases uh, the chariot card is a triumph over the past that we had and I will try to explain you how this could manifest uh, if a person is single the chariot card almost always signifies the appearance of someone new uh, with, with which that person tries to involve themselves so they can forget a poignant breakup from the past so that is a, a triumph over the past it, it kind of like in an attempt to cut ties with uh, with a poignant enterprise you know with with a poignant undertaking that we were forced to take but right now you know we we do have an, another option available and frantically we try to kind of like catch that option available and to kind of develop it <clears throat> So it can become something reliable that we uh, can step on and we should not rely on what was in the past. The Chariot card is a, a very potent card for those who likes to be... Uh, um, who likes to boss people around and for those who are team leaders as well. Now this card points that you will be able to charge your team straight to victory but in the grand scheme of things uh, Capricorns this card signifies that at that specific month whatever issues troubles difficulties you do have uh, <clears throat> you will you will be able should you be determined to do so you will be able to resolve them all because the chariot card is a symbol of a heroic effort and reaching victory against all odds so this will be a month where you will be able to pull it through whatever that is against even against all odds and then we do have uh, the intentional wise card that is the ten of wands and this is very situational card as well now the ten of wands uh, kind of signify a person overburdened by wands uh, the wands are a symbol of power and growth in tarot so in in one way this card could be interpreted as a um, <clears throat> that you have at the end you know achieved whatever you have wanted 
and just to find out that it is way too much for you to handle you know and now you're feeling overburdened by the responsibilities you created for yourself just to give you an example for that so you can make it more clear to yourself and to align it to your personal situations let's say that you are working and you really want a promotion and that promotion hits here with the chariot card you are able to um, achieve victory you know and you got that promotion just to find out that this promotion or the place that you're gonna find yourself after the promotion it, it, it involves so many responsibilities that it is hard for you to handle them it is it is hard for you to systemize them as well this card could be as well interpreted as a uh, struggle to uh, struggle to maintain power all right so this is what you need to do here to maintain your power and your control over your situations because if you can see here that person is trying to control the ones that he cultivated or kind of he reaped from whatever he had he had sown in the past <clears throat> and in some cases Mm, this card advise you as intentions here this card this card advise you not to get into wrangles with people which are sitting higher than you are like your boss you know or for example family members of uh, of your wife or husband or of your partner as well um, this card advises you if you can please those whom you are depending on because further down the road um, in the uh, in the future of this month you may need to rely on them for something and <clears throat> it doesn't worth uh, wasting an awesome opportunity that can uncover yourself should you need their support just so you can kind of withstand you know a certain moment of pride out there in the immediate future of the start of the month and uh, the next card will show us the challenges that you have to overcome which are causing predicaments here that will be the strength card and the challenges will be uh, this is a, a pretty um there are there is pretty tight connection in between these couple of cards first of all they are ex extinguishing one another one is water the other is fire so what we do have is uh, the strength card it, as a, a challenge you will have a um, how can i place it here you will have difficulty you know to gather up your um what was the word here guys i'm sorry i'm just forgetting the word um, <clears throat> it's kind of it's not even a determination all right it's more like readiness to make a decision because uh or from one of the sides one side of the coin will be where you will have to break to make a clean cut with the past with the poignant experience of the past but in the same time it will be tough for you to uh, to acknowledge that this is the right course of action therefore you may try to seek advice from different people while the strength heart says that you should not try to convince anybody in your righteousness all right you have to do things just because you do believe that the things you are doing are right to be done rather than try to convince for example your wife or your husband or your friends that what you're doing is correct so it's kind of like a we are seeing here a hesitation to do what is needed to be done in order for you to kind of like cultivate all of your efforts here and as well make a clean path clean break with the past but that is something that can be truly overcome if you have more um <clears throat> self-belief all right if you believe in yourself that you are doing the right thing and everything that you need to kind of like uh, um, everything that you need to kind of like do in order to uh, boost that self-belief is just to look back behind your shoulder and see how for example miserable you are or you were at the work that you are doing um, in the relationship that you are in the social circle that you are depending what your situation is this will variate you know it could be miserability into a different field you know it doesn't have to be your relationship your career or your social circle it could be something else you know it could be a relationship with a cousin of yours etc etc and that card asks you to as soon as you define where your miserability lies 
case you know to cut ties with it without any hesitation because you will be prone to be hesitant because probably there will be a dependence there that you will have uh, stringed with toward to that uh, um, situation the next card here will display the resources that you can rely on or what will help you throughout the month so um, <laughs> this uh, a very faithful companion is going to help you now this is a, a person who uh, truly feels for you it could be your for example if you are if you have a children and they are working etc etc that could be a support from your child if you are about to cut ties from your job or that could be a support from um, a, a sibling of yours as of yours as well or a, a friend of yours but the page of pentacles points that that person has a true faith in you guys something that is kind of indestructible as a um, because the page of uh, the page of pentacles once it gets attached into somebody um they they basically there is nothing in this world that can traverse their opinion for that specific person so if this uh if this page which most likely could be a a little bit younger woman than you are or a child or a child of yours you know um they their support is unconditional once they define that there's that you are worthy for their support and that support could be as well something monetary all right so they can support you with finances but in case this is not a person that card displays a, a devotion of yours so that is something exterior here maybe a smaller thing that you can rely on for example if we're talking about career here and you're cutting ties with uh, with a job of yours because you're feeling poignant about it and you're hesitant to do it you do have something small out there there aside you know that can still give you a little bit of money that you can rely on to step on your feet and just to kind of like stall time until you find a, a new job and then the last card it will be about the final outcome now we do have the ten of pentacles and that is the culmination of the process so we do have here a process where you are cutting ties with the past you know and um, <clears throat> you are striving yourself toward a, a better perspective and at the end what we do have here is that a better perspective comes around so the ten of pentacles it depending on your situation it could be a reconciliation it could be a, a return of investments well done you know so you kind of reap the benefits of your investments either th those investments could be time it could be money you know it could be emotions as well the ten of pentacles is the card saying that your efforts have been rewarded with a um with benefits that are even a little bit higher than your expectations so what i can tell you here guys is that if you kind of like uh, uh, feel poignant of your state of being single then this card advise you to go out and start dating people because we do have the chariot on the prime position and the chariot on the prime position says that you're going to meet someone that you can make a relationship with all right I, at the end that relationship is going to turn out something very good this card also advises you to if you're feeling despondent in the current job you are then go out and start seeking for a different job you know but that doesn't mean that you should kind of like you know resign from your current one just on the contrary be smart i mean these are possibilities what we're talking about here again this is just a a general reading for your star sign not your personal reading so accept these cards as they put something uh, that reveals potential and not something that is carved in stones therefore uh, in this month for you capricorns you have everything you need to improve your circumstances here but you gotta be smart with the ten of wands as we said sometimes you have to please somebody that stands above you you know and has a certain amount of power so you can use them as a resource further down the road in the future and one more thing the ten of pentacles at the end it could as well mean a reconciliation so if you truly want to uh, make up a, an old relationship and restore it these cards could be interpreted as a heroic effort here that we do have with the chariot card you know but you, however you have to accomplish here pleasing the others so you have to play by the rules of the your foreign ex or kind of like your ex and uh, 
that will not be of your liking here the strength card you will have doubts in yourself that you know this is not the right thing that you're doing this goes against your code of conduct etc etc but at the end of the day it does look like that what will support you here is knowing that at the end of the day once the reconciliation happens um, things are gonna go smooth further down the road because the page of uh, the page of Pentacles is is, is a um, regent for that and at the end ten of pentacles points to the reconciliation so that being said capricorns this was your monthly tarot reading for october 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for capricorn star sign this was not your personal reading guys and if you want a uh, a personal reading where we're going to pull cards and we will align them to your personal situation Please um, check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also if you like that report and you want to know more about your star sign specifically career and relationship wise um, there is an extended monthly tower reading that you can purchase from my website for just $1.49. So Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye.